my girlfriend cheated on me and at the end of the day i forgive her she literally has sex with another guy her ex but i still forgive her hello and welcome back to my channel i go by the name gravity kweku and this is size on gh news if you haven't subscribed consider clicking the red subscribe button to join my community so back in 2012 I was dating this lady called Deborah. We her so rest in perfect peace. But this is a story I just need to let you guys know. I just want to share it uh, to serve as a piece of advice to you all. So in 2012, I was dating Deborah and then we were really in love. I met Deborah on Facebook around 2009, 2010 there. And at that time, I was in SHS Kumasi Academy. So... Um, I wasn't that stubborn, you know, but yeah, I met her on Facebook. We uh, we were speaking, we were chatting once in a while um, there. But later, around 2011, it got kind of personal, like it got intimate. So in 2012, we started dating. I never proposed to Deborah. I never did anything. So how we started dating was um, I told her to visit me one time. She visited me. We were both sitting um at the back of our house we have this veranda there and um, that's this cool place that we sit to i sit to normally do my assignments and stuff so i brought deborah over there so while i was learning she was sitting beside me and i decided to use my phone to take pictures of her so yeah i took the phone and while i was taking she was like basically sitting right next to me so my hand was over her shoulder like that I pulled her close, her head was touching mine and while I was taking the picture, I just gave her a peck, she turned and we stole a kiss. So basically it was a stolen kiss. Are you fruitious? Are you bacaborious? It was a, it was a stolen kiss, you know the bro code, yeah. So then then after the kiss, she became my girlfriend. I never proposed, she never said yes to anything. It was like automatic. Well, that was that was fantastic. Say two years, say three years. Also, in your married material. You know, so we're dating, and then you know, at that time, I was staying with my parents, and I wasn't staying alone. My girlfriend, I really loved this girl, though she was two years older than me. I really loved her, and everything was moving fine. But later on, she was requesting that I have sex with her, cause mind you, she wasn't a virgin. She was pressuring me that i should have sex with her because she she likes to have sex and stuff but for about a year i wasn't having sex with her so around 2013 when i was in first year university that was after i'd broken my virginity so 2013 to 2014 there about yeah my girlfriend told me she was going to visit her mother back in her he in her hometown so and that's around cape coast there and at that and at that time too i wasn't traveling as i said earlier on i was staying with my parents so i wasn't allowed to travel and stuff it, it's not that i wasn't allowed i didn't even have any money bro i had nothing 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 she can be any home so yeah so she went to visit her mom and even before she left she used to tell me about this particular ex of hers who um used to love her a lot but then at the end of the day she was moving to Ashanti region that's Kumasi to school so she broke up with the guy and the guy also cheated on her so she had to leave the guy so after Deborah went to visit her mom we used to talk but then over there I think she said um they, she wasn't getting network network coverage to call me often so I just accepted that fact and I accepted that reality and then I let her go <laughs> <laughs> about a month later she returned and then she didn't even go home she came straight to my place we we're talking laughing enjoying herself romancing by the rule you know these small boys and girls you know we were chopping love by the wayside and then <laughs> we we're chopping love by the wayside and then um all of a sudden she became quiet and she to i asked her what was bothering her she said nothing and you know ladies that's how they are so i kept on i was persistent i kept on asking and asking and finally she opened up to me and told me the truth that when she visited her mom um her ex 
the guy that she broke up with um, previously was requesting that she visits him in his apartment the, the guy was um much richer and yeah older than me yeah so deborah told me she visited the guy in her oh, in, in his room the second wave is coming or has come thinking nothing would happen but who does that if you've broken up with someone why do you have to visit the guy in his room or whatever but then with this she did and then <laughs> she told me the guy has sex with her <laughs> You know one thing that made me feel guilty pa they were told me she's been asking me she's been requesting and begging me for like a month or two to have sex with her but i've been um pretending like i don't care whatsoever but now um i should i should look at what the ex has done to her so i go i got really pissed i got really pissed i was really pissed i was really sad and angry so i told her to leave me alone and it was over between us so i salute you are you fruitious are you bacaborious she left she went home and after a day or two i think it was just after 24 hours i called deborah in two days i'm really sorry that i didn't have sex with her and apparently at the end of the day it's my fault because if i had had sex with her probably she wouldn't have slept with her ex but second wave number and you be who you jimmy you be who you jimmy you see because she told me she needed it she enjoys having sex but since i wasn't staying alone i was staying with my parents and brothers and sisters i wasn't willing to do it so um this and i'm sure if my brothers are watching <laughs> and you say hey you see simu you see you but it is what it is so um later i took deborah to i called a friend of mine skywalker who stays at atonsu he stays at atonsu he's a very good friend of mine skywalker so i called him and he's staying alone i called him and told him yeah yo bro i want to do this this and that in your room so can you um let me have your room for like two or three hours and he said oh fantastic i will have it for the whole day that guy <laughs> he understand the bro cool the bro cool he be fuck boy yeah, and cause that guy he be fuck boy he be fuck boy but he be cool at the end of the year he be cool i met my girlfriend they were i took her to my friend's room at atonsu we picked the car from my house to take dancing from take dancing to atonsu we called our friend skywalker she, he came to take us up took us to his room and then um we did it we 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 did it we did it it is what it is we enjoyed it you gotta be serious bro but it was just like one round just one round and then we had to put a stop to it because I, I i know she enjoyed it very well may her so rest in peace i love this girl very well you know, deborah though she was two years older than me i really cherished her a lot and yeah so later um i think she was in shs by then she was about to um, complete school and then during her wasi she told me she wanted to have sex again after her wasi i said oh why not so we planned the day the date and time and everything the venue and everything bro we planned everything like we had done it for the first time so the second time we we're very confident it was going to be gym. it was going to be fantastic bro before she could finish her writing her last um wasi exam her mom called her again that she wants her that's deborah to visit her again at their hometown so my girlfriend told me she wanted to go and i said okay why not i'll be a month after a month of two you'll be back so we'll probably enjoy ourselves and i said yeah so so deborah left and then for like five months i wasn't hearing from deborah that was like i thought already she had found another guy or she had um made up with her ex and then yeah she had moved on so i decided to move on and mind you she wasn't having network coverage initially for the first two to three months that's what i thought that's why i kept telling myself but later on about five to six months i decided no this lady has moved on so let me just move on myself but just that 
I had moved on too, but I wasn't dating anybody. I was just focusing on my studies and stuff because I was in university tertiary and you know studies is like very difficult over there. One afternoon, my girlfriend called me and was like, she was crying. I couldn't really, I could barely hear her voice. I could barely hear her speaking. She told me she was admitted at the hospital for like three months. She's been at the hospital for like three months because immediately after she left, two months down the line, she felt very sick and was admitted at the hospital. And they are telling her it has nothing to do with um the whatever she's feeling is not physical it's spiritual so like they should do something about it otherwise she, she's not going to make it but they were just trying to uh, take care of her at the hospital i think that was the main reason why she was still at the hospital so long story short my girlfriend asked me um that i shouldn't get angry she's going to ask me a question i said okay shoot so she asked me if I had, I had done anything to her spiritually, if I had used her for money rituals or anything, because she's, she's right now she has no option. She knows perfectly well that I love her and I wouldn't do such a thing to her, but she, she has run out of options and I'm the last person, so she obviously had need to ask me. So I told her, no, I can never do that to her. I can never do that to her, like use her for anything. No, and I don't even know how to, <laughs> how to do such things, you know. So she was crying and I consoled her on the phone. That day I was very, very sad. So later, I think my mom passed in January 2016. So February um, 2016, a month down the line after my mommy had passed, I made a text message on my phone, some sweet love message that I wanted to send to my girlfriend. Cause yeah, cause yeah, they were giving her blood and stuff and was really sick and she needed me the most so almost every day at least two days i was sending her love messages and stuff i knew she wouldn't be able to read it but she had previously told me that her sister her younger sister is by her side and anytime i text her she would be available to read the messages to her so i should just keep sending them and it's, it's, a, it's a source of encouragement that she's going to get better very soon so i was always doing it so this particular morning i typed this nice romantic message on my phone i was about to send it to her and then i got a call from her very best friend who's called docas docas um she recently completed lego and as i know we are still friends so docas was uh, the best friend to my girlfriend deborah i was about to press send and then docas called me and told me my girlfriend had passed like she was gone she was dead like she was done she was no more and literally <laughs> at that time i had lost my mom a month ago so like i broke down into tears and that was like my worst year ever so 2016 was literally my worst year ever and i may have made a video about that already which i'm going to suggest to you at the end so but if you want to watch you can just click the link at the top here um toward that particular video 2016 was like my worst year ever and that's the same year i graduated from tertiary k university to be precise and yeah all in all we are here i'm doing this youtube video trying to tell you guys that whatever happens in your life like don't don't break down like god knows best everything happens for a reason and god loves you whatever happens god knows best and everything is under his control um at this point i would want to leave you all here and i would want to entreat you all to subscribe to my channel consider yourself a part of my community you are a part of my community and i cherish you very much if you have subscribed i love you but if you haven't i'm pleading with you to consider joining my community help us to grow and become a big one i have more exciting videos for us, uh, like this for you to watch at the end of this so just stay tuned and click on any of the videos at the end sometimes i fool sometimes i'm serious and today i'm very serious and sober and yeah all in all we are here it's been a long road but we are here all is not lost don't lose hope god loves you gravity loves you eyes on gh signing out peace out we move